is fast becoming a model for data-driven development in Africa. The capital of Kigali is at the heart of the effort to become smarter, better connected and more efficient. But there are other cities too. From the so-called digital twins that simulate city growth before a single brick is laid, to AI systems that track land use, traffic and even sanitation, officials say Rwanda's smart city journey is powered by data and innovation to shape lifestyle. Different countries define smart cities as relevant to them. So what we've defined for ourselves, because we have to start with the definition before we talk about what it looks like for Rwanda, right? Um, so for us, it's, it's how do we use technology, innovation and data to improve urban planning, to improve convenience for citizens, to improve really your life when you're uh, moving around the city, when, your, everything shifts around lifestyle. Everything we're doing is not just becoming smart, but it's to ensure that uh, the citizens in Kigali, the people who are visiting Kigali, the tourists, uh, the investors and any other people, are really um, uh, have a, a, an easy life in what they are doing and what they are planning to do. So we were really people-centered. In Rwanda, artificial intelligence is being deployed in key areas, from health sector, energy efficiency and water systems to waste management, transport optimization and urban planning. The city of Kigali is using satellite imagery and drones to detect dirty streets, water pipes and power faults, track urban growth and fight illegal construction, while smart street lights and AI traffic systems help reduce congestion. Regulators say it saves resources and ensures safety for citizens. We started, uh, we have started using uh, um, the, the satellite imagery, but as well as uh, the drone uh, to ensure that we inspect uh, the cleanliness in Kigali. Uh, if some areas are becoming a bit dirty, we can uh, send a team to inspect on that, or we can even talk to the local team to ensure that uh, the, the, the specific places are cleaned um, in a timely manner. So I can say that the city of Kigali is really doing its best to ensure that we leverage on the opportunities that we are given by uh, technology. The government is extending these innovations to secondary cities like Musanze, Huye and Ruba for ensuring balanced growth and inclusive development across the country. The idea is that the smart city vision is national. It's not based on the city of Kigali alone. The city of Kigali is more advanced However, there is a plan to, to stretch that to the other secondary cities and eventually to town and village level. According to officials, by combining artificial intelligence with GIS, IoT and big data, Rwanda is laying the foundation for its Vision 2050, cities that are livable, resilient and sustainable. Here in Kigeli's Cup is on one of the most vibrant public spaces. People are working, studying and connecting through free public Wi-Fi. It's a simple yet a powerful example on how smart city initiatives can help people get connected, informed and included. Eitan Tashivya for CGTN, Kigali, Rwanda.